Welcome to the Certified Badass Online Marketing Podcast, where being a badass has less to do with what you wear and what music you listen to and everything to do with whether you've got the thriving online business of your dreams. I'm your renegade thinking Harvard Law grad turned online entrepreneur host, Bobby Clay. In my years building my thriving business, the most important lesson I've learned is that being a badass online marketer isn't about secret strategies or ninja tactics. It's about doing the basic stuff right and showing the F up. So each week here on the show, you'll get clear, easy to execute guidance on how to build your online business and a swift kick in the ass or two to make sure you're getting it done. Hey, everybody, welcome to this week's Friday live episode of the Certified Badass Online Marketing Podcast. I'm your host, Bobby Klink, and I'm excited for today's show because I'm going to give you kind of, you could think of it as like a a quick tip, a quick kick in the butt to really kind of help you, um, you know, make the right decisions and do the right things in your business. Specifically, in this episode, I'm going to talk about why you need to have a purpose for everything you do in your business and you need to know what that purpose is. So that's what we're going to be talking about because honestly, this is something that I think a lot of people um, don't do and aren't thinking about. And what I want you to get is that until you actually start being intentional about what you do in your business, you're not going to get the success you want. So I want that to be kind of the reality check for you. And I want you to be thinking about that. Now, before I dive in, if you haven't yet gotten your hands on my coach's free training, your first 100 leads, you should go grab it. It it's, kind of fits in perfectly with this episode because James talks about building your lead list and building your list in a different way than most people do. And and again, even if you already have 100 leads, I want you to go take this training, and here's why. Because he talks about being intentional, about having a purpose for your freebie, about thinking through the whole journey and the purpose that you're trying to get out of that freebie and how that will really shape what you wanna do. And so when you actually do that, you're going to be in better shape. You're going to actually start getting the right kinds of leads into your system, into your funnel, who are likely to buy. And that's what we want. So if you want to get your hands on this free training, go to bobbyclink.com forward slash 100 leads. Again, 100 leads is the slug. So bobbyclink.com forward slash 100 leads. With that, I want to dive into today's episode where we're talking about why you need to have a purpose for everything. And this is one of those things where I see a lot of entrepreneurs doing things. They're constantly doing, they're constantly on the move. They're constantly kind of saying, okay, I need to do this. And, and, and they just do it. And they don't really think about why. They don't really think about whether doing it moves their business forward. And it's one of those things, that's one of the things that I think keeps us on the treadmill constantly because we're just doing, 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 doing. And we feel like we have to keep doing, 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 doing. And the reality is that I bet probably 20 to 50% of what you're doing, you could just stop altogether because it's not serving any purpose. But you'll never know that until you come back and start thinking about What is the purpose? Why are you doing these things? When you actually think about that, all of a sudden you're able to reframe and say, okay, why am I doing this? Should I be doing this? And what I want you to get is that there's, we could talk about this in so many different ways, but I'm going to frame it in a very specific context because it's a great way that I can, I think, frame the discussion because it relates to something that I just did in my business. And I'm gonna talk about it in the context of social media, but I want you to understand what I'm talking about here, you should be applying this in everything you do in your business. It's not something you should be saying, oh, well, this is only about social and and I don't need to worry about it. I want you thinking about this 
in social, in content, in promotions, in everything you do. But the reason why I'm going to talk about it in social is because I've seen a lot of things happening where people are doing things on social without thinking about it. And they're doing it maybe because someone said so. And because someone said so is not a good enough reason. And so I want you to think about this. I've seen this all over recently. Now, you've heard me forever rail about the notion that you don't need to be everywhere for everybody. And that's where I see it the most often is people are just trying to be everywhere. They're just trying to, they post here and they post there and they post this and they do that. And, you know, oh yeah, I'm on Twitter and I'm on this and I'm on that. And, and they're running themselves ragged. But I saw a really pronounced version of this lately. Like, I don't know about you, but suddenly everybody and their mother is, is talking about TikTok. And so I see all of these entrepreneurs running over to TikTok and say, oh, I got to create a TikTok account. I got to create a TikTok account. I have no idea whether that's a good idea or not. But these are the same entrepreneurs who would tell you, well, I'm struggling to get traction on Facebook. I'm struggling to get traction on Instagram. I'm struggling to do much on Pinterest. I'm struggling on uh, Twitter. I'm struggling here. I'm struggling there. TikTok, that's the answer. And it's this kind of mindless, what is the newest thing? Instead of saying very intentionally, why would I go and start a TikTok account? And, and I'm not picking on TikTok. I want to be clear. It just happens to be the new kid on the block. But before you run out and start a TikTok account and start putting TikTok videos up, I want you to ask that simple question. How does it fit in to my marketing plan? What is my purpose? What is my goal of creating that, that account? And what am I going to do with it? And if you can't answer those questions and you don't have good answers to those questions, stay the hell off TikTok because you don't have enough time to be doing all the damn things. That is the reality. And that's the reality that most people aren't thinking about. And so first of all, I want you to be thinking about this and have a purpose before you do anything at all. And if you can't come up with a good purpose, you shouldn't be doing it. You shouldn't be doing something new or something different, et cetera. And I could give you another example of people who are like, they have a course and it's not really something like, oh, I'll just create a membership instead. Well, okay, explain to me the purpose of shifting from a course to a membership and why you believe that's going to make the difference. If you can't, don't. But the bigger thing with having a purpose is that even if you, you find there is a purpose, it forces you to think through and have a coherent strategy. And I want to talk about this in the context of my social media strategy. Because we had this discussion recently, Katie, my integrator and I, we were having a discussion, we were talking about how to rework you know, our social strategy. And at first we were thinking, well, let's just talk about, okay, what are we going to post? And when are we going to post it? And I said, wait, no, no, that's not the way to think about this. We need to, to kind of talk about the different places where, where we play. And it's my Facebook page, my, my free Facebook group, my paid Facebook group, my Instagram. Those were kind of the big areas we were thinking about. And I said, okay, what is the goal? What is the purpose for each one of those platforms. What do we want to achieve? And when we defined those goals for each specific platform and each specific thing on each platform, all of a sudden, everything took care of itself. And, and let me kind of walk through what I, what I mean by that. So my paid group, like my Fans First Society, that's obviously for support and for retention and delivery and all of that. That one was clear. Didn't have to really think too much for that. Outside of that, what we realized is that my free group, the, the badass online marketers group, that is the hub of our social media. It's the hub of our social media because of my personality, because I know that what I want to be doing is having conversations with people, building relationships, building kind of the connection, doing the things that I do that are kind of my superpowers and the things I love. And so we said, okay, if that is our purpose, what are the other two serve? What is my Facebook page and what does my Instagram do? 
And when we thought about it, we kind of came up with a very elegant way to look at it. And I'm going to be rolling out a little bit more of these things uh, and then this concept, and it applies to email marketing, but it applies more broadly. What we kind of realized is there are kind of different pieces of the journey. And I looked at social and I said, okay, I'm an email guy. Let me try to think about my social components like I would think about email marketing. And what I recognized was that essentially my badass online marketing is kind of like what I do with my weekly emails. That's where I build connection. That's where people get to know me. That's where people find me, you know, find my, my crazy gifts and all my kind of, you know, wackiness and all that. That's about getting to know me and like me. And for some people not like me, but that's okay. Now, that is kind of the crux of once someone's in my world. And some people refer to kind of your group as your backyard and your page as your front yard and all that. I don't, you know, that's one way to look at it. But I look at it as a place where I'm building the connection over the long term like I do with my weekly emails. My Facebook page, on the other hand, is where people first come into my world and are like, who the heck is this Bobby guy? And do I want to get into his world? So I thought about it in a context of it's about giving them the context. It's about letting them understand who am I? What do I believe in? How can I help them? What do I stand for? And then driving the people who are interested into the group. The goal of the page is to hook people, get their attention, and then get them into the group. Again, the page is not about anything else. Yes, we will, we will post things when we're promoting there, I'm sure, because we have to, because of ads and all that. But do I expect that someone randomly is going to stumble onto my Facebook page, see one of my, my posts that's a promotion and say, oh yeah, I want to go buy from this guy, Bobby, that I don't really know. No, no, they might. But thinking about my Facebook page as a way to make sales would just be dumb because it's not going to work. That's not what it's the, the goal it serves in my model. Now, maybe some people that is the model it serves. To me, we understood that the purpose of my Facebook page very simply was to drive people into my group to build a connection with them so they can get to know me, so I can nurture them, so that maybe they'll buy from me later. So that was the page. And so that then says, okay, well, what are we going to do? We're going to post things like we're going to post podcasts. We're going to post things that we do. We're going to help them understand like what I offer. Like we post things, links to the different legal templates that I have where people can buy, not because we expect them to buy. And if they do, fine. Now, I want you to be clear. If you see that and you want to buy, I'm not going to say don't. But it's more about helping people to understand what I do and how I can help them. And then this page or, or these videos, my, my podcasts and everything else go on the page so that people can get to know me. It is the way in. It is for them to start to understand who I am, what I do and how I can help them. So all of our posts, everything we're doing on the Facebook page is around that and about driving them to my group. Then the last piece was to think about what is my Instagram for? And, you know, um, one of my friends, M Melanie Howe, who, who just uh, on this live, if you were with me on the page, she just uh, liked it. So I'm, I'm thinking she may be sitting here watching. She kind of told me, why not just have some fun with your Instagram? Because candidly, I, I, I joke with people that realistically, my uh, Instagram kind of sucks. I suck at Instagram. And part of it is that my heart hasn't been in it. And uh, it's not about community building. It's that's not kind of what that platform is. And so that's part of the problem, right? I mean, if, if I'm not building community, if I'm not there actively, if I'm not engaging with people, the reality is that it's going to be hard to really build an Instagram because, you know, that's what social media is. It's about connecting. And so, you know, I looked at it that way and I said, OK, maybe one day I'll get there. Maybe I will at some point get to the point that I have the bandwidth to spend there. But right now, why don't we simply think of Instagram as a way to funnel people over to what we care about? So Instagram, we define our goals and our purposes as to drive people to my podcast and drive people to the group. And that is it. Those are the only goals we have there. Now, my Facebook ads manager 
you know, came up with a, an idea to start to maybe build some engagement over there and use Instagram kind of like the page of getting people to really get a sense of who I am with just a small ad spend by kind of showing them some of the posts so they start to understand who I am and how I can help them. And that's good because ultimately, in my view, Instagram will serve a similar role as my Facebook page. It's about where people start to get to know me and then can make the decision, do they want to go deeper? And if they want to go deeper, I'm going to say two ways. Listen to my podcast, come over to my Facebook group, because that is what we want to do. And I hope that you can kind of see how suddenly when I defined these different purposes, these different goals for the social media channels, everything else falls into place. I don't have to now spend a ton of time thinking through what am I going to post on each one of these places? Or my team doesn't. We don't have to think about that. It's natural. You can naturally say, okay, got it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, it makes sense. But more importantly, it means that we're not just kind of taking a shotgun approach where we're just posting random ass crap all over the place. And, you know, I hope that doesn't sting you. But if it does, if that stings you a little bit, it's probably because you know you're posting random ass crap all over the place without being intentional. So whether it's on social, whether it's on, on your customer journey, whether it's on your freebie, whether it's on your offer, whether it's on your messaging, everything you do should have a purpose and you should know that purpose. You should only do something if you can identify the purpose for it. And then you should let the purpose guide the content, the what, the how, all of that, else, the other stuff. When you know the why, everything else takes care of itself. So my call to action to you today is figure out the purpose for everything you're doing in your business and focus on that purpose and then let that guide what you do. When you do that, what you're going to find, I I'm going to tell you, is you can stop doing a lot of the things. You can stop hustling yourself to, to the point that you're exhausted. You, you will stop doing the things that are not moving your business forward. And you will start focusing on the things that do. That is what will ultimately give you success. So my call to action, be intentional in everything you do. That's it for this episode. I will see you next Tuesday. That's it for this episode of the Certified Badass Online Marketing Podcast. Make sure to tune in next time. And in the meantime, go out and build the badass business of your dreams.